You know how you can't resist the urge every time you see a pretty girl, you just feel like you need to go talk to her? I want you to be that for the male version. I want you to be irresistible to women. And we can get there. We can get there by you owning your space. Start simple. Own where you live. Own where you work. Own what you drive. In other words, keep it clean. Keep it organized. I don't care if it's a room. I don't care if it's your own apartment. I don't care if it's a mansion. Own your kingdom. Right? Because every person you bring into your car or into your apartment will be impressed by you because where you live is a direct reflection to you. That's why if you go to TikTok and see all those guys with crazy morning routines and super aesthetic rooms and the whole ironing the sheets and all, yeah, it's a little bit excessive. They're probably doing it on purpose, but the point is go to the comments. Most of the women are, are impressed. You're like, I've never seen something like this in person. So when they do see something like that in person, I promise you, they're coming back for seconds. You, you're giving her like American psycho vibes. She's intrigued now. Two. Sharpen the look. Don't, I'm not saying sharpen your look. Sharpen the look. When you're talking to a girl, you can't stutter, right? You can't quiver. You can't shake. You can't have your eyes be all jittery. You have to fix the look. And, and again, I can give you a tip right now that's going to help you. But practice is what matters. That's all that matters. Go out. Talk to random girls. It's going to be weird. But practice the look. Right? Practice being able to look at that girl in the eyes, even if it's a stranger, and if you feel so uncomfortable inside. That way, when you do need it, right? when you do talk to a girl that you're actually trying to impress, she will be, she'll have butterflies, nervousness, speechless, because she won't know how to act. And yes, like I said, you, you get, there's tricks, right? You can use glasses. I've talked about that before. You throw on a pair of glasses, it's like instant. Grab a pair of glasses. Make sure they look good on you, obviously. Go to a park. Go somewhere where there's a lot of girls. Talk to a girl without them, then put them on, go talk to another girl. You're gonna feel an immediate difference in your confidence. It's thrilling, you feel like the man, and it's because a physical blocker gives your brain a sense of security. It's dumb, but it works, and on top of that, it makes you look good because you're being a little mysterious behind there. That's why I'm telling you boys, you need frames. Frames is hands down, the, single-handedly, the most powerful accessory a man can ever wear. It's stylish levels up your fits, makes you look attractive, and gives you a legit superpower when it comes to the look. Bro, if you don't have a pair of frames, I got you. Click the link down below. Check out our brand Jade Black. With Jade Black, all our stuff is handmade with Italian acetate, best materials in the world. But here's the best part. They're affordable, right? Our stuff you can compare to any designer you want, but for today, if you buy four pairs, I'm going to gift you $100. So if you buy four pairs, you're going to get $100 off four pairs. And those four pairs will be less than half the cost of one designer pair. Yet they're the same quality. Now you have an entire collection that you can deploy at will. Boys, this will not last. This is only going to last for the next 24 hours. And if you've ever wanted Jade Black, this is the cheapest you'll ever find it. If you guys want to check it out, click the link down below. Three, have goals. Have direction, have purpose, have leadership. Not everybody's gonna be a boss, a CEO, an owner. Not everybody's gonna be the president, I get it. But you can be the CEO of your own life, right? You can navigate your own ship. What are your goals? What do you want out of life? Where do you want to be? How big do you want to get? How much money do you want to earn? Have clear goals, have a path. And then anytime you meet a girl, it's almost instant. I remember every time I would talk to my wife when we were first dating, she knew, like, yo, I was so on passion. I'm still am. I'm so focused. That's where my, my, my conversation was always, yo, I gotta do this. I'm gonna be there. In three years, I'll be there. Like, I, it's just, I know. I knew and I still know what I want. Four. Be masculine. There's just no way around it. Why? Because it's physics. We're back in a physics class. We're back at it again. Let me explain. This is, this is, this is simple. Masculinity and femininity are polar opposites. And what do we know? Poles, they create tension. That tension, it causes emotions to stir up. Emotions that can then cause that desire and lust. And who is the author of those emotions? You, with your masculine frame. Even the most feminine woman, right? The most feminist girl you can find will feel something in the presence of a masculine man, whether good or bad. And once you make somebody feel something, you got it. Be resourceful. Resourceful with your cash, with your finances, socially. You got to be resourceful motivationally, with your advice, with your knowledge, with your experiences. And I get it. Look, we're all young. We're all learning. But you can learn faster. You can read more, listen to more podcasts. Expand the knowledge. Work on your personal income. That way when you meet any girl, you're the rock. And that, that makes you 
Bro, when, you, when you're just stoic, you're always there, you're always motivated, but really you're just highly disciplined, I'm telling you, she will desire you over any other dude. Number six, respect her. You gotta respect her. Look, there's a lot of talk going on online about mistreating women and this and that, a lot of, whatever. Who cares? The point is, you gotta know something. If you really want a girl to love you, you respect her. This is not her walking all over you. This is not her getting, whatever, getting to do whatever the hell she wants. This is you respecting her as another human being. This is you respecting her knowing that it, as your masculine frame, it is also your duty to protect her, to take care of her, to make sure she's good in all aspects. And when you give her that sense of security, knowing that she's safe with you, she'll desire you over anybody. 